Hello there guys, my name is Chaos Chad to Warm Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today I'm not going to be sharing my th thoughts and feelings about this. Personally, I'm just going to be sharing with you all the facts that we know about this brand new document that came out and there's a video now to go with it on Merlin's uh, page. Uh, Merlin Entertainment have revealed some guidelines that they're going to be putting in place um, for when the attractions reopen. So today, I'm going to share those with you guys. So it's not about sharing my thoughts on any of this or my feelings or anything like that. It's purely a tip video for all the families and all the thrill seekers out there to let you guys know what will be happening when the attractions reopen and what you need to do, etc. So I'm going to talk through all the PDF document and then just, you know, sum it all up and just tell you guys that those that's what you need to do. So before we get into this video, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. Those questions will be for our next Q&A session when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So I'm going to talk about stuff about the channel you know, at the end of the video, uh, but Obviously, we know it's a serious video today, so there's no comedy intro. Sorry, guys. And, uh, yeah, this is a proper serious video where I'm just going to discuss all the facts and figures and what, basically, what measures they're putting in place for when the attractions reopen to the public. So, let's go through the PDF document by Merlin Entertainment on the measures they're putting in place when the attractions reopen after COVID-19 calms down. So... Let's have a look at what is going on. So, Merlin Entertainment have actually come out and said um, on the on the next slide of this PDF document, at Merlin Entertainment, our mission is to create truly memorable experiences and we place the utmost importance on the safety and well-being of our guests and employees. We have introduced a range of new health and safety measures that seek to reduce the risk associated with the presence of COVID-19 that are in line with government advice and the requirements of local health authorities. Some of the measures set out below may be clearly visible to you from the moment you arrive at one of our attractions and others require consideration from guests to help ensure everyone has a magical visit. So a good opening line by Merlin Entertainment, reassuring the guests, putting the right measures in and just being aware of the situation. So before you arrive, please make sure you have your booking online where possible. So it's best to book online rather than actually pay on the attraction's door. So I think that's a very fair solution. I think booking online should be, you know, the way forward. I think, I think less booking on the door would mean less crowds around the door. So it means that getting into the park and getting into the attractions would flow more quickly, which means more distancing around the, you know, the attractions. So very good move there. Before leaving home, please check our website and social media pages for the latest information. So check if the parks and attractions are open, if there's any specific closing times, any specific attractions uh, in the theme park specifically, <gasps> excuse me, that are closed. So some attractions may be open, some attractions inside the parks may not, some attractions may be closed altogether. So I would check out the website just to be on the safe side. Please be ready to make on-site payments using a contactless bank card rather than cash where possible. And I think that's a good solution as well. So make sure, um, as least as possible, you don't pay with cash as much as you can. Just pay with contactless bank cards. So make sure you have uh, enough money to pay for your tickets from your bank account and use contactless cards when possible. Uh, if recommended or required by local health authorities, please bring a suitable face mask slash covering. Uh, now, I'm actually going to stop there because I want to show you guys. I've got my reusable face mask. Uh, so, if ever we go to the attractions, I'll be taking this. Um, so, just a little sort of guideline there. Just make sure you keep, you know, your eyes uh, on, you know situation and the health authorities and what they're recommending with the tourism industry and if you are required to wear a face mask and a face mask and it's not you know if, if it's you have to do it then you have to do it don't you to provide uh better health and safety for the rest of the visitors as well as yourself uh, so it's highly recommended that you wear a face mask 
Uh, we politely request that you refrain from visiting our attractions should you start displaying any of the symptoms associated with COVID-19. Please contact guest services should you need to amend your booking. So I think that's very, very clear. If you're displaying symptoms of the virus, I would ring up, make sure you refrain from booking, make sure you move your booking somewhere else to where you could be healthy, wherever that may be, or you just cancel it. If you don't know when you're going to be healthy again, just cancel it and then obviously rebook at a different time when you're more healthy. Uh, but it's very, very important that if you're displaying these symptoms, you can't visit these attractions. On the arrival at the attractions, we've significantly reduced the daily ticketed capacity for our attractions to allow social distancing and the best possible guest experience. So they are set to be limiting capacity at the parks and attractions. So, you know, obviously booking online is going to be more significant. Uh, maybe the websites will crash, but I guess that's, you know, it's, it was bound to happen if the websites do crash because obviously with booking more online now obviously the websites will probably go down uh, when it gets too much and stuff like that so obviously you know give it time um, and if the website does crash then obviously reload it again in a few minutes and try booking online again but they've reduced daily ticketing which is great because it reduces the amount of uh, people on the front desk just waiting to get in so again it's a good route um, if arriving by car, we request that you follow all instructions regarding parking arrangements. Uh, so make sure you do follow the guidelines on parking. I'm guessing it will be going uh, one way, like you do in the supermarkets, etc. I'm guessing it will be like a, a one way than the other, so uh, it won't be you know going through all directions and stuff like that. So a very uh, specific ordering system with car parking. So uh, make sure you follow the rules with that. Guests will notice new information signage informing them of key safety messages and instructions, so make sure you're aware of that. In addition to our employees undergoing daily non-evasive temperature checks, we may also require our guests to participate in such checks as a condition of entry. Any person who is displaying a high temperature associated with fever will not be permitted into the attraction. Please contact guest services should you have any concerns. So that's a very important one as well. Social distancing measures within the attractions. So, we have introduced new arrangements for the application of social distancing within queues. Clear markers or signage have been installed in our attraction entry, ride restroom and dining queues to help guests keep a safe distance from one another. Our, employments will, uh, our employees will monitor the queues to ensure that social distancing is being maintained. So they are going to keep the queue lines. I think I, I know I did a report a few weeks ago, possibly saying they could abolish the queue lines uh, and do like online ride entry bookings uh, for specific attractions in the parks. Uh, maybe that's not the case now, or maybe that will be the case with other attractions, or maybe a million may decide to do this as well uh, to further reduce queuing. Uh, but this is just a little measure in place for when queuing is still around so obviously this is a good solution make sure you stick to the rules with that we've also introduced new arrangements for the application of social distancing in our dining areas tables and chairs have been reconfigured to ensure enough distance between seated parties in areas where strangers are seated together seats will be removed or blocked to ensure there's a suitable gap between guests so again stick to the rules they're there for a reason. Obviously, the restaurants in the parks and the restaurants around the attractions are going to be doing this. So, obviously, stick to the rules that they're, they've they've been required to put out because of government guidelines. So, again, stick to those rules. And I think it's a good rule as well. We've developed custom plans for the application of social distancing on our rides and our other attractions in order to minimise contact between parties. Strange strategies for separating guests include empty rows and leaving empty seats between guests in ride vehicles. So, you know, if a ride car is, let's say, two people sat together on each row. Let's take Spinball Wizard, for example. Spinball Wizard has two people sat together and then two people facing backwards from them on the other side. So I'm guessing it will probably be one person per row instead. Or maybe one person per car. I mean, that's not a crime. Uh, but it would mean a longer waiting time, which is not very good for impatient people. But those of you who think about safety first and health first, then you shouldn't be complaining, which is good. Uh, so obviously it's going to be a longer waiting time, but who cares? Safety is more important. Um, 
Guests viewing entertainment in the form of live shows or theatrical scenes will be separated from the performances and each other in accordance with social distancing requirements. So, you know, a couple of seats between the strangers would be, you know, the way forward. Obviously, there's going to be less people in the arena at a time. But, you know, again, safety is important. Um, we've introduced new capacity limits for our indoor experiences and facilities, for example, shops, restaurants, theatres and guest service buildings. Now, it doesn't mention dart rides, but I think that might be involved, but we don't know that yet. Uh, these restrictions will help ensure there's plenty of room for social distancing. Um, we've installed new hygiene screens at many of our service counters and food stores to help physically separate guests from employees. We've adapted or suspended some experiences and facilities to ensure our social distancing is suitably maintained. For example, the provision of costume character meet and greets, some games, interactive or play areas, or touch pools and props have either been modified or completely suspended. So that's an important rule to take. Uh, we've revised some of our standard operating protocols in order to reduce the proximity of our employees to guests. For example, this includes the way in which we now conduct security searches at admissions how we perform height checks for our rides or how we undertake guest service activities. So if you're measuring up for a ride, that's going to be improved. Um, obviously the bag searches, obviously we know that probably security are going to wear face masks and gloves just in case. Uh, but security in terms of bag searches, you know, like at the start of Alton Towers, before you get into Tower Street or Thorpe Park before you get into the dome area and things like that you know they're going to still continue with the bag search and the security checks however they'll probably be modified to include gloves masks things like that uh hygiene and disinfection measures within our attraction so we've introduced enhanced cleaning measures throughout the day which seeks to disinfect high frequency touch points such as tables and chairs service counters grab and flush handles ride restraints, door handles, plates, elevator buttons and taps. So e pretty much everything that could be touched is going to be, you know, disinfectant down and washed every time and obviously the cleaning staff at these attractions and parks are going to be on high alert uh, for any of these symptoms and also with the disinfectant job. Uh, we've introduced a large number of hygiene stations and hand sanitizer dispensers around the attraction for guests to use. So again, that's a massive one uh, for the parks and attractions. They're introducing new deep cleaning measures in the event that a person presents themselves with symptoms consistent with COVID-19. So again, Merlin's making sure that if someone is displaying these symptoms, you know, the, the, cleaning, the cleaning people, the cleaning jobs, they're going to be on high alert 24 7 so you know i'll give them massive respect for that we've also introduced new ppe personal protective equipment requirements for a range of activities the employees routinely perform these include face masks disposable gloves eye protection and hand sanitizer the use of such equipment and clothing by our employees is both to protect them and our guests again they're thinking about everyone with that rule so very very nice there they're offering new menus across many of the food outlets to place a greater emphasis on grab and go options. So again, less seating, sort of seating restaurants, which is, you know, I like that because the fact that they're doing like a more grab and go service or, or, or more input into a grab and go service is very good for restaurants because it reduced the amount of people sitting in at the restaurant. And also, you know, with the measures in place with the restaurants, if they're too crowded still in with the measures in place, then it's very much grab and go. You know, it's basically first come, first serve the seating area, but you know, you can still grab and go uh, while you're, you know, waiting for your food, etc. So you don't have to eat and you can just grab it and go and sit somewhere else, which is fine by all of us. As well as the employees, the polite we request that all our guests uphold the highest possible hygiene standards, uh, whether it be sneezing or coughing through regular hand washing or the frequent application of hand sanitizer. Our employees also now participate in COVID-19 specific training programs, instructing them how to stay safe, as well as how to keep our guests safe. And at the end of the PDF document, Mellon said, we hope these new health and safety measures provide our guests with confidence and eagerness to visit any one of our attractions. These are unprecedented times for all communities around the world. And whilst every effort is being taken to protect the safety and well-being of our guests, everyone should be informed themselves of the risks um, conditions and personal responsibilities before they visit we thank you for your custom and understanding now let's make new magical memories together so then that my friends was 
the document by Millen Entertainment introducing these brand new measures before you get into the attraction, while you're in the attraction, specific measures with each attraction and restaurant and shop in terms of queue lines, grab and go with the food, um, waiting in the queue for the rides, height restrictions when you're hiking yourself up for a ride, security checks, every single part of the experience of your journey has been specifically measured to meet government health standards, which is very, very good of Millen Entertainment. Now, of course, we don't know exactly when these parks are going to reopen. We don't know uh, when we're going to see a reopening. There's possibility of, you know, end of June, maybe July uh, at the most, which is, you know, it depends on the situation, really. I think if in at some point in June, if we haven't had any, like, increase in COVID deaths or COVID cases for, like, a good few weeks in a row or a good couple of weeks in a row, then there's a possibility that you know we're on the down and we could be all right but still have these measures in place just in case to reduce a second spike from happening um i'm not going to say whether i think parks should reopen in july if you want me to do that debate video comment down below but i'm really against doing anything political just because of the fact that it sends me off on a tangent uh but I'm, I, t today's video was just about me talking about these measures they're going to put in place. So, uh, not about thoughts or anything like that. I said in the video a couple of times today that, you know, I think this is a good rule because of this, this and this. But I don't mean thoughts in like that. I mean, thought. I don't want to share my thoughts in politically while you should reopen the parks in July and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to share my thoughts about that. But if you, really want, if, you, if you really want me to and you want me to get political, then comment down below. But I'm really against it, personally. Uh, but what I will say is Millen Entertainment, you know, whether it's right, whether it's wrong to open them in July or whenever they're going to reopen, I think Merlin's got the right measures in place for re trying to reduce a second spike as much as possible. As much. And I'm sure there's going to be increased security, increased checks uh, throughout the day. And I think we're going to see a very much a safer place. And I think in the coming years... Uh, 2022, 2023, 2024, moving on like that, I think we are going to have, um, you know, quieter years and we are going to have years where uh, there's no COVID cases and we can just reflect on the people we've, we've unfortunately lost during this crisis. So, um, you know, I think that uh, even when the, even if the virus does completely come out of existence next year, I think that um, the next couple of years after that moving to you know halfway through this decade, you know, that will be the time when You know it will run the rebuilding process as a, as a planet uh, Should we say so? Um, yeah, it's very interesting these times. It's very dark these times, but I love to see Merlin putting these measures in place. And I'm sure other parks could be doing the same. It mentioned about the play areas, and I was like, I'm thinking park, other parks like Lightwater Valley, who have lots of play areas, will close them uh, and keep them closed until further notice, or put measures in place with those play areas. Uh, so, you know, I'm thinking about other parks as well as the Merlin parks in this video. So, um, big, big, big well done to Merlin Entertainment for putting these measures in place with government guidelines. Um, you know, you guys create such a magical place. You guys are such a magical company. This, apparently, I believe this is the second biggest company in the world behind Disney in terms of entertainment and tourism and attractions. Uh, so, you know, they, these, these guys are a magical place to work. I haven't worked for them personally, but they're a magical place to work, I'm sure. And they're putting the right measures in place. Even if you don't agree the attraction should reopen in July, they've got the right measures in place just in case they are allowed to. Uh, so, big thank you and big well done to Melon Entertainment. That is it, guys, from this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please take all these tips on board. Again, uh, I would highly recommend you go and check out the document. It's on the internet somewhere. Uh, I think it's on Melon Entertainment's website specifically. Uh, if you look about on there, but I'm not entirely sure where. But I got the PDF document from somewhere else. Uh, but it was the official Merlin Entertainment PDF document, but I can't remember where I got it from. Uh, but it is the official one. So I would find that document on the Merlin Entertainment's website or look about the internet, see if you can find it. Uh, and there are other videos about it as well, so I would check out all of them. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Keep living the coast life. My name is Coast Shell, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. Stay safe.